7%, no, not 75%, which was the figure cooked up fictitiously by Nigel Farage last week, 7% of primary legislation is derived from the European Union. 14% are what they call statutory instruments. Those are also laws, but they're, they're done through secondary legislation. And then they say it's difficult to estimate exactly how many non-legislative regulations are produced. But then no one says that this fictional figure of 75% has any bearing in reality at all. So all I would say is let's have this debate not based on scaremongering, not on some sort of dangerous fantasy or con, but actually on some of the realities that we have to have to face as a modern So are there, are there no unelected bureaucrats in Europe? There are. There Is are, there a democratic there are, deficit? Exactly, the, the, the total size of the European bureaucracy, this monstrous superstate that Nigel Farage talks about, is about exactly the same size as the number of people employed by Derbyshire County Council. Uh -huh. Some superstate. But surely it's what they do uh, that matters, yeah, not the numbers. They're not. They're but look, they're we've heard. I've heard, heard, heard all evening. We've all, we've all heard all, all evening. Are we've heard all evening. The apparently, hmm. the European is going to have its own army. It's going to have its own air force. Yep. It's this. It's this huge superstate that is trampling on our liberties. In fact. The reality is 7% of our primary law is it derives right. from the European Union. Oh, the reality yeah. is the bureaucracy oh, is no Nigel bigger Farage, than the people employed no, by Derbyshire is, County sorry, Council. I'm sorry. I said yes to these debates. I thought you would honestly make the pro-EU case. By saying 7% of our laws are made in Brussels, you are willfully lying to the British people oh, about the extent to which we have given away control of our country and our democracy. And I'm really shocked and surprised that you would try and do that. <laughs>